you all, of course, know that mom lives next door to the restaurant. And she tells me pretty much every day, and probably you too, Brad, um, that it's the worst restaurant in America. I, I'm not kidding. I mean, she, she is so critical, and it is so tough. I mean, for them to get a dish or anything that's just perfect, I mean, it's unbelievable. And then, every now and then, it's the best restaurant in America. <laughs> but the point of this, what I'm telling you, is that I will take that criticism because she's given so much praise. You know, and she's given so much time and attention that, and you know, it's, it's not meant mean. She just really is pushing, pushing, pushing for all those things to be right all the time. But it all starts with this trust and respect. So I love, love, love this picture, right? So this is the famous old celebration refrigerator that like never worked and it always melted. It would be just like a blob of chocolate when you came in in the morning. Um, the one that Angela Hill still orders and we still make, right? But look at, look at this conversation going on, you know. Um, but trust and respect... Um, is one of these conversations that this is what mom believes, okay? You come in. Who's, has anybody ever seen her do what I'm about to talk about? Lally has. Brad has. Okay, so some poor person shows up. Frankie, you come up, and she hasn't, she hasn't met you, and she's like, you're like you, got, you got a few minutes? And, you know, your boss is looking over and going, oh, well, you better schedule somebody else for him because, you know. <laughs> so you sit there. Usually the chefs say, well, wherever, patio, whatnot, and she's going to say to you, now tell me about you. You know, where are you from and, you know, wh how'd you end up here? And you know, tell me all about you. And that goes on for a while and quite a while. And she really learns a lot about you. And then finally she looks at you and says, now listen, let me tell you how this is going to go. Every day I'm going to come to work and I'm going to try to earn your trust and respect. You don't owe it to me. I'm going to try to earn it. And I want you to try to earn mine. Then let's see how that goes. And that's how she would start off. Did you have that? Did you have that chat? She, she did that with me 17 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. First second week I was working at mom's house. Right? Conversation lasted 35 minutes at the chef table. Right. So, but she did this again and again and again, and, and she meant it. And then she would follow up with you and go, now we talked about what your plan was, now where are we on that plan? And what have you done? And did you read that book I gave you? And blah, 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 you know? So when you work with people like that, um, it creates an atmosphere that is of trust and respect. So um, I have tried to tell her that she cannot have life-changing conversations with everybody every single time she talks to 